Hello everyone, Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I want to talk about how to use virtual ENV in Python. Virtual ENV will create virtual environments for you wherever you want. So a particular folder, it will create a virtual environment inside of that folder. In, inside of this virtual environment, you can hold separate versions of Python and separate versions of your library files. So the reason why you would want to do this is because if you ever run into a situation where you have to write code for different versions of Python, say version 2x and version 3x, then you can separate the two. And if you have a certain project that is only going to use one set of libraries versus a separate project that will use a different set of libraries, you can have those libraries set up in each virtual environment that only pertains to the project that you're working on. That way, you don't have to install all these libraries globally on your system. You can just contain the libraries that you are interested in for that particular project in your virtual environment. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up virtual ENV, and I'll show you how to use it. It's very, very simple to set up and use, and I'll demonstrate that here. So the very first thing you need to do is install virtual ENV. So you just use pip, so pip install virtual ENV. I already have it installed on my system, so I'm not going to run it. It would probably complain if I did. It's requirement already satisfied. So now that I have it set up, what I want to do is I want to create a couple of folders to create virtual environments in. I'll create two for this video. I'll call the first one first, and I'll call the second one second. These are great names, by the way. So let me navigate to the first directory. And inside this directory, I'm going to create a virtual environment. So I just need to run the command virtual env, and then the name of the environment folder. Uh, by convention, you can use like env or venv, venv. So I'll use venv. And it's going to go through installing. And this only takes a second. It's installing a new version of pip inside of the virtual environment. So when I use pip, it will grab files and put them into that virtual environment. So this should only take one more second. Okay, so now it's done. So if I go to first, you see it created this directory and it has this stuff in here. So lib um, site packages. So you see there are already some packages set up pip, set up tools, wheel. So in here, if I create another directory, let's call it my project. And I want Flask in this virtual environment. So I don't have Flask set up on my system. So if I tried to run a Flask app, uh, it would not work because I don't have Flask installed. Let me show you how it won't work. So my project, and I'll create a new file. Well, actually, I'll create it in here. Um, documents first, my project. And then let's call it flask demo.py. So from flask import flask. I'm just going to create a very simple hello world app here. Flask. I want to route on the index. So I don't currently have Flask set up anywhere on the system. I'm using Windows now, so this is pretty much a clean install. So I don't have Flask yet. Oops, app run, and then debug is true. So I'll save that. So I'm not in the virtual environment yet. I've already created the virtual environment, but I'm at, 
actually inside the virtual environment. So let me demonstrate what happens when I try to run this Flask demo file. No module name Flask. Well, that's because I haven't installed Flask yet. So now if I initialize the virtual environment, let me go back to the upper directory before I initialize it. And then if I go to, so the directory that I created is the first thing I need to do. So V E N V and then I'm looking in the scripts folder and then I'm going to run a script called activate. Once I run this script, activate, it will start up the virtual environment. Now you see how my command prop changed? It's no longer starting with the directory. It's now starting with this venv, which tells you that I'm inside of the virtual environment and now I can use the virtual environment. So now let me install Flask. So it's going to take a second here to install Flask. It's installing all the dependencies as well. I see Jinja, markup safe. Okay, so now that I have Flask set up in this virtual environment, let me go back to my project and then I'll run Flask demo. And it looks like it's working. So let me see. Hello world. Okay, so great. I have Flask set up in the virtual environment. Now if I exit this and exit the virtual environment again, so let me deactivate it. So activate will start up the virtual environment and then deactivate will end it. So V E N V scripts deactivate. And now I'm back to my regular command prompt and I'm no longer in the virtual environment, which means I no longer have Flask installed. And I'm back to getting this error because Flask is no longer installed. So that's great. That's simply how you use a virtual environment when you want to install different packages. Now let me show you what happens when you want to use a different version of Python. On my computer right now, I have Python 3.5 point something I can't remember I can just check right now 3.5.1 but I also have 2.7.11 so I'm going to create a virtual environment using 2.7.11 the reason why it created um, the virtual environment 3.5.1 in the original case was because that's my default it's in the path I don't have 2.7.11 in the path so let me get out of here and I'll go to second. And in the second one, I'm going to create a virtual environment again, but I need to specify the version of Python. So the command line flag is dash P and then I need to give it the path to my Python executable for 2.7.11. So it's C Python 27 python.exe. And then I need to create the directory name, so I'll call this v e and v again. So it's saying running virtual e and v with interpreter python27 python.exe. And now it's installing everything. So virtual e and v was installed with python 3.5.1 but I'm going to create a virtual environment with Python 2.7.11. And virtual ENV is smart enough to know that when you're inside of the virtual environment, you only want to use 2.7.11. So here I am in the second directory. Let me run Python. I think if I just use the V flag, it tells you the version. Yeah, uh, too many errors for that. Uh, 3.5.1 is the version right here. Let me exit and clear the screen so I don't see all of this. Oh, it was an error that I ran in verbose mode. I'm not sure what flag I need to see the version. But um, if I run Python, 3.5.1 is the one that is currently running. But if I activate the virtual environment, 
So env scripts activate. Now that I'm in a virtual environment, if I run Python again, now we see it's Python 2.7.11. And of course, in this virtual environment, I can install packages that I want, and they'll be completely separate from the packages that I installed in the first directory. And then let me just deactivate this. Okay, so that's all I want to show you in this video. That should be enough to get you started using virtual ENV. Um, I, I'm trying to get into the habit of using it more. When I was on my Linux system, which I still have, but I'm not using it at the moment, uh, I wasn't using it, so I was installing packages globally. I was using one version of Python. It was version 2.6, I believe, because that's what came with my uh, Linux operating system, Ubuntu. But now that I'm on Windows, at least some of the time, I'm trying to get into the habit of using virtual ENV so I can keep all these things separated. So if you have any questions about using it, just leave a comment below and I'll answer them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel overall, please subscribe. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.